Uh, well, this is something completely new, a little bit of a mid-season catch-up on Zoom. We've currently got about 12 drivers or 10 drivers linked up via Zoom. So thanks for your time, fellas. Some are on the road. Some have been displaced. Some are looking forward to Darwin. We may even have more pop in and join us halfway through. Uh, but we're going to start alphabetically on this one because I think that makes a lot of sense. So Zane Goddard can kick it for a bit. And I might start off with Andre Heimgartner. Uh, Andre, where are you and what are you up to? And, and how's life at the moment amidst all the craziness? Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy. As I said, managed to get out of Melbourne before it all um, got locked down. So luckily for me, um, I'm, I'm pretty free. So obviously still being careful, not going near any really populated areas or anything like that to stay away. But um, yeah, a bit weird. I think, um, you know, it's, it's different for everyone. My team's obviously isolating um, at the farm at the moment. So hearing all the sorts of their stories and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, a bit, bit of a weird time at the moment, just waiting, I guess, for the 14 days to pass. Anton, you look like you're in your Call of Duty chair at the moment. <laughs> you're at home? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is me. Yeah, the weather's not that good here today. So Call of Duty chair is about where we spend most of it. But um, yeah, just at home on the Gold Coast. So just chilling out, waiting to till Darwin. You were testing recently, mate. How did that go? Uh, yeah, it was good. Um, I'd much rather would have been at Winton. Um, so yeah, snuck in a test day. We're planning to do one anyway. We just brought it a week forward. Um, so yeah, it's always good to do laps, but, um, yeah, just trying things, doing laps, Queensland Raceway, not too much to learn there. We don't race there. So yeah, just cutting laps to our first test day since we've actually raced the car with this team. So a couple of things we wanted to go through, but, uh, yeah, all good. Hey Brody, uh, obviously big news for your team over the last few weeks. One part I'll, I'll ask you, first of all, uh, your team was pretty vocal about not wanting to get on the road. You are separate from that because you're not in Melbourne. Your thoughts on essentially doing what we were doing last year now? Yeah, I think the the worry was of just what happened last year of being away from their um, families was being, you know, the main concern and just making sure that there was a you know, full structure and a plan in place just in case that if <laughs> that were to happen. So, um, but yeah, um, I've obviously been based in Gold Coast all year. So, um, you know, not much has changed for me. Gen 3 and the new car looks pretty cool in the renders. You guys are committed to running the Camaro. What's your thoughts on what the car looks like at the moment in boost colours? Yeah, I think it was probably no secret that we're probably going to stay with the Camaro. Um, yeah, it's definitely pretty exciting and uh, the renders do look pretty cool. It'd be um, cool to see the finished products. We'll move on to uh, Davey at the moment as well because Dave's hiding out in Albury at the moment. Uh, you stayed there a little bit last year, didn't you, mate, as well, when you had to get on the road? Yeah, I stayed here for a couple of weeks last year. Um, this seems all too familiar. So, but it's good to go home and see my mum and dad. Um, you know, Aubrey's such a good place for me. I've lived 18 years here in my life. So, it's a good, good place to come back to. Macca Jones has entered the conversation. We'll get to Macca in a moment. I'm going to go over to, uh, oh, we haven't got Jake yet. Where's, uh, where's Jake Kostecki out of the moment? Have you joined us, Jake? I don't think he's here. Here he is. Look at that. Perfectly on cue. Admit one. Yeah. Teeth one. I'll, uh, I'll get go his to teeth one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll go to Macca while I wait for Jake to join in. Macca, how has all of this affected Albury with you guys? Well, not just Albury, but Brad Jones Racing with you guys being down there on the border. Oh, yeah, we're not too bad down here. I mean, it's we're sort of on the bubble of being in the in a bit of the crap, but um, it's not too bad. I mean, some of our guys have had to move from Wodonga to Albury. Um, obviously, to not be in Victoria, but, yeah, we're sort of, I mean, everything's already ready, so they're kind of just doing stuff around the workshop. You've had Nick hanging out with uh, him for the last sort of week. He's been hanging out and the dogs have been playing. Uh, you guys have been yeah. training together and keeping busy? Yeah, we're definitely keeping uh, keeping busy, which has been good. He's just out of my house. He's keeping the dogs entertained, which is, uh, which is handy. So, yeah, we're just, yeah, just doing things in Albury. It's not a whole lot to do, but it's all right. Jake Kostecki. Hey, buddy. Chad, what's happening? Mid-season report for you, mate. Matt's done racing. Had a pretty good year. Yeah, we're going all right so far. We're definitely um, achieving some goals to what we've been um, going through last year. But um, yeah, we're sort of in that mid-pack. So we're, um, we're happy. Highlight for you personally so far? I know Zane had a wicked weekend in Tassie. What's been the best point of the year for you so far? Uh, probably hasn't been like massive highlights yet, but just been consistently um, close to that 15th to 12th in the pack. But um, I feel like the... We can get a bit more up there as the rounds go on. Did you enjoy the bend with all three Kostekis out there? That was all right. Not too bad. 
Did you and you and your bro have have some words after you got together? It was it turn six? Nah, fifty him off when he said, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go to Scotty. Uh, Darwin last year, Scott was awesome for you. you. Had a really good run there, working with Phil Keed. Uh, are you excited about getting back there, given the speed you had last year? Yeah, I mean, everyone starts from the same point. So, uh, yeah, we go there obviously feeling confident for what we achieved last year, but we know that uh, we've got to we've got to back it up and do it all again. So, uh, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, excited in a way to be back on the road and just focused on uh, going racing now again. Like last year, I think it put us in a good position. So, uh, yeah, keen to get over to Darwin and, um, yeah, just, just get back into it. You're in a funny spot because you're also, you know, a small business owner and your small business happens to be in Victoria. So how has this affected that for you? Uh, yeah, it's been okay. We're actually, we're really busy at the moment and, and I got three guys working for me. So they're doing an amazing job. And um, yeah, I guess at the moment we've got one project on the go that's got to be uh, locked away by the end of the month. So um, coordinating that in Victoria whilst lockdown is, is okay. <laughs> Uh, in a way, probably fortunate. It's a job for Vic Health, so it's um, you know I think will will help make that be achievable. But certainly for small businesses, it's a a difficult time. Um, probably more so uh, depends on what it is that you do. I guess for us, we're we're lucky that we create a lot of content um, for online platforms, so we can do that yeah. pretty much from anywhere. You know, my office is a hub where we base ourselves, but at the same time, we can pack everything up pretty quickly, which is what we did, and and everyone took home their hard drives and computers from work and. Uh, everyone's working remotely now, which means we're still able to do it. But uh, we do do films, uh, filming on, on site, so that makes it difficult at the moment. Um, and we're looking at getting people, obviously, out of Victoria now to be able to continue working uh, in, in different states. And which lovely part of the, the world are you hiding out in at the moment, mate? I'm in Terrigal at the moment, in, so near uh, right in the central coast, New South Wales. So it's beautiful here. We, uh, we actually started driving yesterday, hadn't decided where exactly we were going to go. We just knew we needed to be in New South Wales. And... Um, I wanted to be close to the team, so they're actually only two k's away from me. Um, and yeah, I mean, even though you can't really do anything, it's it's nice to be in a somewhat of a hub, I guess, close by um, to my team. And then we'll commute down to Sydney and fly into Darwin in a couple of weeks' time. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I mean, everyone's pretty excited about going back to Darwin. Like I said before, it was a great place for us last year, and it really started to. I guess it kickstarted our momentum in the back end of the year. So I think it's a place that we've all got high hopes going into and just looking forward to getting to now. Nice. SVG. Hey, buddy. Hello. You were uh, out at the Australian Rally Championship checking out some rally cars the other week. How did you enjoy that, mate? Yeah, it was awesome. They had um, uh, like the normal spectator spots, which were rubbish. So we found some back roads and man, they were awesome just climbing through the stages and sneaking between the cars and stuff. And, yeah, just I just love the rally stuff. Been around it since I was growing up, and um, yeah, love love to do more of it. The rally top rally guys are best of the best, so want to do more of that. It's pretty cool. What would be the thing stopping you from doing that? Is it a time thing? Is it a budget thing? Or you know, getting permission yep. sort of thing? Uh, probably money. Yeah, over and over here in Australia, I don't have as many contacts as New Zealand. Um, New Zealand, there's a lot of um, events I can do, but my rule from RD to do that is I have to have a two week window afterwards okay. to get back to Australia just in case quarantine got backdated or whatever. So um, there was going to be one, um, but now that's the new Winton date. So yeah, I don't know when I'm going to be doing something. Uh, bummer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, um, obviously we're heading to some warm rounds, Darwin and Townsville, yeah. and you're going to have to be pretty fit for that. And I understand that the collarbone would have not been helping your fitness lately in training. So how's that all worked out yeah. lately? Well, I do a heap of training anyway, so we're all good. But um, no, nah, it's, um, it's all right. Winton is a track we have always struggled at. So we had some cool ideas and I was kind of looking forward to going there and, and trying to do better. But um, it's not a bad thing. Like, you know, there's some areas we struggled in with our car in the last few rounds. So now that we miss Winton, we get our motor upgrade, which we need. So all the um, cars with car e engines will be a bit stronger. So... Yeah, looking forward to that. I'm sure everyone's stoked to hear that <laughs> on this page right now. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm looking forward to Darwin, man. I'm, and I'm also looking forward to seeing how your team manager goes at Fink next week. Oh, he's just dead weight. He does nothing. You know, he doesn't need to nav <laughs> navigate. Toby knows that track so well. So, you right. know, looking at that truck, the program they've put together, man, it's awesome. Toby's truck's super cool. So, yeah, Dado's got a pretty good job, but 
Uh, I wouldn't want to be sitting alongside Toby. He's crazy. Would you drive one? Oh, probably, yeah. Out there, it'd be a bit of fun. It doesn't look fun, that track. It's just whoops. But some yeah. of the other races they do and, you know, the courses in the States with the races, yeah, the stadium trucks look mega. Hey, buddy, you're looking properly Darwin today, man. Have you- <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at, mate? Uh, Tweet Heads, actually. Oh, just uh, hanging out here in New South Wales, not able to do much like a lot of other people. <laughs> Uh, big news for you is I believe you guys are going to have Grant McPherson at the track for the first time. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's uh, he's kindly put his hand up to, to come away. So uh, my engineer, Terry Kerr, wasn't able to come away this time. I think he's, um, yeah, put, put his family through enough last time, understandably. So, yeah, Grant will be at the track. And um, so I'm not actually too sure who's engineering me, whether it's whether it's him or or another guy out of Austin at our team. I'm not too sure yet, but uh, yeah, looking forward to having Shippy there. It's just going to be good. Have you started to learn much of him yet, having him around in the workshop? Obviously, guy with heaps of experience. Um, I don't think too much yet. I mean, obviously, we haven't raced, you know, while he's been there. So I think he's been flat out just trying to get up to speed, but just trying to understand how all the processes work and how all the programs work and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't think, you know, We've, you know, played around on the, sim- on the simulator and done, you know, heaps of different bits and pieces and whatnot. But, um, yeah, we haven't uh, haven't got too far into that side of things yet. But uh, I'm sure that will change as soon as we get to the racetrack. And uh, sitting there very patiently, Zane Goddard. Uh, I'll get to Will actually first. Sorry, well, Will's top left because he's at work today. Oh, sweet, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> will, you at, you, at, <laughs> you at Cars Galore to Umber today, mate? Yeah, yeah, it's raining up here. Not many people want to come by a car on a rainy day, so... Uh... Yeah, just chilling out, just um, getting some stuff sorted. You're going to give us a good deal on a uh, second-hand car today? What do you suggest? You don't get a, you don't get a good deal here, mate. Please <laughs> 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 be honest. <laughs> Tell Shane I said hi. <laughs> do. Hey, uh, Gen 3 Camaro <laughs> for you. Gen. We had, obviously, Brody's thoughts on it. What do you reckon about the Gen 3 Camaro heading your way for next year? Yeah, pretty cool. Um, obviously, it's awesome to keep running, you know, the GM sort of product and, uh, you know, the renders look awesome. Like Brody said, it would just be cool to uh, to see it all finished and what it exactly comes up like. So, you know, it's cool to know which direction we're heading in. And Zane, I'm sure everyone wants to know, mate, what is in the smoothie? You've been sitting there quietly sipping away at it. Uh, I got some banana, berries, yogurt, honey. Works. Pretty good. Works. Your year so yeah. far, we had a little chat to Jake about how well Matt Stone Racing's been going. Your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's been good. Like compared to last year, we've definitely made a step forward. Obviously, Tazzy had a really good qualifying. And apart from that, we've sort of been sitting closest to mid-pack. So, um, yeah, definitely a step forward. Just got to keep that going. And how do you reckon you're going to go in Darwin then, mate, now that it's a chance to drive your own car up there? No, it was good. I like the track. It's a cool place to go. I think everyone enjoys going to monsoons and stuff like that. So, yeah, bring on Darwin. I've got Nelson holding the, <laughs> the fourth <laughs> in the other one. I'll ask Nelson how he's going. Give one buck for good. Here he is. He's back. Uh, he's thanks good. for joining us. You've got Nelson and Solo yeah. to hang out with. What's the uh, what's the go in Aubrey, mate? Um, we're busy here. Um, um, yeah, so I bailed. What did I bail? Well before the lockdown kind of started in Victoria. Kind of just writing was on the wall and thought, don't want to be there when... You have to sit at home and do nothing. So I came up to, to Albury and, um, yeah, crashed Matthew's house again. Uh, very much deja vu to last year. It was like, get out of Melbourne. Came up here to Macca's and BJR and just been kind of hanging out ever since. So, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. It's um, probably better weather up here than there is in Melbourne. So I've just I'm just kind of cruising along and waiting to see when we head to Darwin. Looking forward to seeing how BJR bounces back from the bend. It was... One part, quali was was really hard to get your head around, but the race speed was pretty mega. What was the debrief like off the back of the bend? Uh, we just had the wet tire pressure, obviously crazy wrong. Um, and then in the dry, you know, we qualified in the I think qualified in the ten both both races. And then to be honest, um, just probably a little bit of drama with um, um, some mapping stuff on on the cars. So yeah, fuel saved for half the race. So I think honestly, there's probably a podium come race three was kind of thrown away and then um yeah um race two you'd never know obviously getting turned around when all the drama happened at the start there so yeah i think yeah our race car was good and it qualified not too bad on sunday so we'll see obviously we've had a few podiums up in darwin now with the team so hopefully 
Um, you guys all right? All right. Well, guys, this has been fun. Thanks for your time. Good luck in Darwin. Uh, if you're watching this online, let us know in the comment section. Did you like this? Do you want more drivers? Do you want less drivers? Do you want more midweek stuff? I'm not sure we could possibly fit more drivers into a Zoom chat, but it's been cool to catch up, guys. Uh, thanks for doing what you're doing on the road right now. Uh, there's a lot of sacrifices going on, and thanks to all the teams as well. And hopefully thanks, we can keep this, this show on the road, and good luck to all you fellas up there in Darwin. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Well done.